In our previous session, I introduced adjusting entries. And I also said that it's, I'm going to tackle each and every adjusting entries individually so that we get to understand exactly what we are adjusting. But before we get into those details, I thought it necessary that you have a bad eyes view on what these adjusting entries are, where they lie in the accounting cycle. So in today's session, that is exactly what I'm going to do. I am going to tell you where the adjustments lie as far as the accounting cycle is concerned so that you appreciate this from a bad eyes view. So let's get to it. I have explained part of this in our previous sessions, but allow me to repeat it again. So the accounting cycle rolls like this. Uh, source documents are going to be generated whenever a transaction takes place. And when these source documents are generated, we, they are the ones that are the accounting triggers that lead us to make entries into the journals. After entries have been made into the journals, it is from these journals that we post to the ledgers. From the ledgers, we balance off the ledger accounts and the balances are extracted. And when they are extracted, we post them, we make a trial balance. When the trial balance is made, the balances that are in the trial balance are the ones that we base on to make financial statements. And then from financial statements, then we have a post-closing trial balance and that's the end of the accounting cycle. Now, if I am operating my business daily, let's say I keep paying bills, I'm going to concentrate on revenues and expenses here. So meaning that when it is expenses, I am paying electricity, I'm paying water and all these things. Well, these, what, whenever I re release cash, uh, a cash a cash payment voucher is going to be generated that becomes an accounting trigger that prompts an entry into our books and things end up into the ledger accounts and eventually to the trial balance same with revenue whether i am getting money for work that i have done or i'm getting money for work that i have not got that i've not yet done the thing is when there is cash when cash is paid or when cash is released that is going to create an accounting trigger that is going to prompt us to make a recording into our books. And so it means that by the time we are preparing the trial balance, when we look at, for example, the cash account and all the expense accounts or look at all the revenue accounts, the figures that you're seeing there are figures that were put there when cash was paid. So whenever we paid cash or whenever we received cash, we recognized those entries and we put that that is what you see reflected in the cash account the, the cash balances the bank balances the revenue accounts the expense accounts at the at that point when you're making the trial balance they are reflecting uh the transactions or that happened when cash was involved now um when when in in accounting at the point when we finish when we have prepared a trial balance we are supposed to go ahead and uh, prepare what we call financial statements when we are preparing these financial statements there are standards that we are supposed to follow now in some countries they follow what we call the international financial reporting standards what you may know as ifrs and in other in other countries they follow what we call the gap rules call them the generally accepted accounting principles. Now, whether you're following IFRS or GAP, there is something these two have in common, and that is that, uh, well, financial statements are supposed to be prepared using the accrual method of accounting. So now what is the accrual method of accounting? I hinted on it last time. The accrual method of accounting means that you're supposed to recognize revenues when they are earned and you're supposed to recognize expenses when they are incurred, whether cash has been paid or not. But remember, when we were doing these transactions and we are posting these figures into our books, we were basing on cash. Actually, by the time you are preparing a trial balance, it is cash basis. It is based on cash because whatever that is in that the cash, the bank balances, the cash balances, the revenues there, the expenses there, they are based on when cash was paid because it is when cash was paid that triggered an entry. Uh, so that means that when you look at some revenue accounts, for example, if you paid rent, 
maybe you paid for rent in a, a, a period that is not the accounting period you're working in or maybe you have received revenue that does not relate to the accounting period you're in now that that's how the adjustments come in you need to make the adjustments in other words you need to transfer your trial balance or your books from the cash basis into the accrual basis and as you're transferring it to the accrual basis of accounting you're also supposed to be consistent with the matching concept of accounting so the thing here is this that by the time we get to the trial balance the figures there we are having some accounts like i had explained in my earlier session some accounts are oversized some accounts are undersized and there is need to make the adjustments so that they come in line with the accrual method of accounting so uh, looking at the bad eyes view here is this that uh, there are two bases of accounting we have the cash basis and the accrual basis the cash basis of accounting transactions are recorded when cash is paid period and this is what we have been doing from the time we're doing the journal entries to posting items in the ledger and to the point of preparing the trial balance that is what has been happening we have been posting items there when cash has been involved at the time we are making the adjustments we are simply making sure that our books are in alignment with the accrual basis of accounting so that means that when it comes to that trial balance it is what we call an unadjusted trial balance so we have an adjusted trial balance then from an adjusted trial balance we are going to go ahead and pass what we call journal entries to make the adjustments when we pass the journal entries to make the adjustments then we shall come up with what we call an adjusted trial balance an adjusted trial balance is a trial balance that is in line with the accrual basis of accounting so it is from the accrual from the adjusted trial balance that we shall go ahead and prepare financial statements the financial statements are basically four we have the statement of comprehensive income we have the statement of financial position then we have the statement of cash flows and also we have the statement of changes in owners equity we shall look at those later on so but you get the picture so that is that is how we are going to end up with the adjusted uh, trial balance so so in our upcoming sessions we are going to look at these adjustments one by one and uh, as we are doing these adjustments put it at the back of your mind is that we are making these adjustments so that we are in line with the accrual basis of accounting and after making those adjustments that is how we arrive at what we call the adjusted trial balance my name is Arnold Rangakuramia this is Kisengo Academy I'll see you in the next session take care